Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make beef smothered burritos in red sauce. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 2 pounds of chuck pot roast, 9 New Mexico chili pots, 2 chili pasilla, 5 chile de arbol, 1 onion, 6 garlic cloves, 3 bay leaves, 1 4 of a teaspoon of oregano, 1 4 of a teaspoon of cumin, salt, black pepper, large burrito tortillas, and your choice of cheese. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alright guys, so first we're going to start by cutting 1 4 of our onion. We're going to use this for our sauce. The rest of the onion, we're going to use it for our meat. Alright, so now we're going to grab our meat and we're going to cut it in fourths. Cut in small chunks, just like that. So now we're going to place them in our pot where we're going to cook our meat. And we're going to add our onion, four garlic cloves, two bay leaves, salt, and pepper. So now we're just going to add water and we're going to put it in our stove and let it cook for about an hour and a half. I'm going to fill up my pot halfway with water. So just make sure all of your meat is covered with water. Alright, so now we're going to place it in our stove and set it on high heat and just leave it there and let it cook for about an hour and a half. All right, so meanwhile, we're going to start to work on our chiles. So just depot them and deseat them. And also, if you don't want your sauce to be very spicy, don't add the chile de arbol. And you can also use the green bag this is the bag I use for my chiles, and they have a green bag. The green ones are a little bit sweeter, so you can replace our New Mexico chili pots for that one. And these ones are always a little harder to the pot. like a little reason. I'm not going to take the seeds out because to me it's just they're perfect the way the sauce comes out. Okay I'm just going to add my two garlic cloves and my piece of onion and now we're just going to add water and let them boil for about 20 minutes. Just give them a quick rinse. Okay, so now we're going to cook them. High heat. So now we're just going to wait for 20 minutes or until our chiles have softened. Alright guys, so after 20 minutes your chiles should be done, so now I'm just going to turn it off and we're going to drain the water and let them cool down. Alright guys, so it's been about an hour and 30 minutes, so right now we're just going to check our meat. So it's almost done. We're just going to let it cook for another 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to make our burritos. All right guys, so it's been 20 more minutes and our meat by now should be done. Should be super easy to fall apart. So we're just going to take it out, remove it from the pot. So like that, it can cool down so we can shred it and turn it off. So now I'm just going to strain our broth 
because we're going to use it for our sauce. So now we are ready to work on our sauce. All right, so once your meat has cooled down, just start shredding it. Or you can also just get the knife and start chopping it like that. Me, I like to go through the fat. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so once we have our meat, we are ready to make our sauce. All right, so in our blender, we're going to add our chiles, onions, and garlic cloves. along with one fourth, one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, our oregano, cumin, and bacon. And we're also going to add three cups of our beef broth. If you don't wanna use the beef broth, you can always use the water that we boiled our chiles or just regular water. going to blend it all together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our sauce, we're going to bring it to a simmer. All right, so in a medium frame pan, I'm going to set it to medium high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. And once the oil is hot, we're going to strain in our sauce. All right, so once it's hot, we're going to add in our sauce. I'm going to add about a half a cup of water to my blender just so I can get all the leftover chile. Just add it in. So now I'm just going to reduce the heat to low heat and then allow it to come to a uh, simmer. Okay, so just Wait for it to come to a simmer and then we'll be done with our sauce. All right, so once you see it simmering, just try it for salt. For me, it's perfect, so I'm not going to add anything else. Um, but basically right now, your sauce is done. So turn it off and just start working on our burritos. All right, so now we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So next we're going to grab our baking dish and we're going to add about one cup of our sauce. Okay. All right, and if your tortillas are soft, you don't have to cook them. Alrighty, so I'm going to start by adding one layer of our refried beans. And I already have a recipe on my beans, so you can go check it out. Going to spread it. I'm going to also add some Mexican um, rice. I have a recipe on it as well. And this is option if you don't want to add the beans or the rice, then you don't have to. But this is how I like my burritos. And then we're going to top it with the meat. Okay, so next we're going to fold it. And roll it. And then you have your burrito. And we're going to place them in our baking dish. And you're just going to repeat the process until you're done making the amount of burritos that you're making. All right, so once you have your burritos all rolled up, we're going to add our sauce on top. Just cover them all with the sauce. Okay. So once we have our sauce, we're going to top it off with our cheese. And 
and we love cheese. So use the, your preference of cheese. And then depending on how much meat you put your inside your burritos, it depends on how many burritos you're gonna get out of this recipe. For the size that I made them, um, I will get about six burritos. So this is perfect for my family. So now we're ready to put them in the oven until our cheese is completely melted. So, all right, so after eight minutes, this is what your burritos should look like. So by now we are ready to serve, okay? Going to cut them. It divides. Oh, before that though, I like to get my plate where I'm going to serve it, and it's um, add some sauce on the bottom. So some of the extra sauce and just add it in the bottom. It smells so good. Look at this. See that? Perfection. Okay. All right, so I like to serve my burritos with a side of lettuce, pico de gallo with avocado. And of course, sour cream. And the sour cream, you can drizzle it all around your um, burrito or just place it in the middle just like that and I am so ready to eat alrighty guys and now for the best part the taste test look at how delicious that looks I'm so ready the best seriously so delicious mm. definitely worth the two hours that we waited on the meat super delicious I hope you guys give this recipe a try seriously the sauce the meat everything is just perfect Alrighty guys, and there you have it, my beef smother burritos. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.